Now, Ukraine, who you're riding for now, it's their first opportunity to get points. So with this system, this is, a, this is critical for, the, for, for Ukraine today. For sure. We had a really big power today or pressure today that uh, we have to make points, you know, because uh, the rules are not so easy and not so uh, light, you know. So also a team like a very, very strong Germany can in the end quickly out, you know, but we have to be good here. So we know this. We start to organize this one also weeks before, or days before. So what I think um, we are now in the really good way, but we need a lot of luck who can stay close to the Germans, also too close to the, the English people, to the English rider here, but they are also really strong. Now, some people will recognize your name because you used to ride for Germany, didn't you? Yes, uh, I ride uh, all the time for Germany, it's still my life, but uh, it comes a new option for me, you know, because uh, to find in this period, you know, in this crisis period, uh, a sponsorship or something else was not so easy also in Germany. So I had a chance now to ride uh, for a big sponsor, Mr. Olichenko in uh, Ukraine. So um, he gave me a chance to ride good horses, young horses, also a little bit older horses, and for the Nations Cups, because I, I love to ride the Nations Cups. Let's just look back, though, to the 1990s. You achieved two Olympic gold medals, I think. Just tell us about that. Ah, oh, that was a crazy, amazing. Uh, you cannot uh, translate. When I start to speak about it, still the sin, sin is going up. Uh, it is amazing to feel, to go to the Olympic Games. And when you have a chance to win a medal, like when you see this year, uh, last year, like Nick Skelton is a good friend of me. And when you see how happy he is, he win all the class in the world. And uh, when you see you have the medal in the hand and you have it on the near neck, it's amazing. Tell us exactly what you did win. Yeah, I did win. I, I win uh, the Olympic Games, you know, two times in the team and then also in the individual. I'm also in the Guinness Book of Records about this one because I'm the youngest one and uh, still I can ride. So this is very nice for me. I win Grand Prix. I was here in the Grand Prix already, third, I think, after Michael Whitaker and after Nick because Nick wins this year with, uh, with, uh, with the Stallion, you know. And uh, so it, uh, it is a fantastic uh, place to stay here again. So for me, it's a pleasure. I can tell that you're thoroughly enjoying being back at the Piazza di Siena. It's a great show, isn't it? Absolutely. It's a fantastic show. It's a show of a lot of uh, history, you know, when you see the place here, you see Dinseo, you know, I love this one. Also when I see Alvin Schockermöhle here, not, not here, but in Germany, some shows, you know. It is a show for the old trees and when you remember 60 years ago there was riding here, the Olympic Games, so then you know how much feeling is here. Well, this afternoon, so the Ukraine have really got to put their best effort forward. Absolutely. We need, uh, we need a yeah, strong rider, strong team to catch points because the other teams are really strong also here. And uh, La Bolle was last week or two weeks ago, or last week, I think last week, the, the first show. Uh, the, 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 the Swiss riders, you know, catch already good points. You know, they make that for your first edition. So for us, it's here the first one. And... Um, we have to go on, but um, we, need, we, need, we need luck for sure and we have good riders like our team and uh, I think we can stay good, but we need for sure a lot of luck. Well, good luck this afternoon to Ukraine. Thank you very much. I wish you a Thank you very much indeed.